Alrighty. This is Luis Sandoval. I'm here with trainer Joel Diaz. Joel, talk to me about this fight. Tough assignment. Overall thoughts on, on, on going into this fight? Overall thoughts? Well, it's a tough fight. You know, uh, Diego Chavez, uh, he's getting his third opportunity in the U.S. You know, to show, you know, uh, his skills and, and his will of, of fighting. So we know that we're not stepping in the ring against an easy opponent. We know uh, we saw him against Keith Thurman and, and Brandon Rios. This kid comes to fight, you know, he's rugged and he does whatever it takes. So we prepare ourselves, you know, Bradley's not a, he's not a, a fighter that, that uh, sits back and says, oh, it's going to be an easy fight. There's no easy fights for us. How much have you studied him? I know that he fought Brandon Rios. Did you see that fight? And are you concerned about the dirty tactics? You know how much I know um, Diego Chavez? I've been, I've been in both of his fights. Uh, I was in San Antonio when he fought Keith Thurman. Uh, that night I had a Figueroa fight in that night too. So then um, Brandon Rios, I was there too because I had Jesse Magdaleno fight that night. So I know very well. I know him very well. And, uh, you know, as far as uh, dirty tactics, I think sometimes styles make fights. You know, uh, that day with him and Brandon, is just their styles were meant to, to get rough. And I don't blame either or. It's just things happen in the ring. And uh, if he comes and brings that to Bradley, of course, you know, we got to be ready for it. Because now I, re I already know what to expect. But uh, who knows? He could be a, a, a more clean fighter on this next one. Or he can get rougher. You don't ever know. But like I said, you know, just... Take, for instance, that he's getting his third opportunity and he got disqualified. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody knows already, you know, it, it could work It could work in our favor. We, we're probably thinking, okay, he's going to be dirty. But he knows that he got disqualified in the last time for being dirty. And now everybody, everybody's talking about, oh, he's dirty, he's dirty, he's dirty. Maybe he'll come back and say, you know what, I'm going to fight a clean fight. It could make a change. So we don't know. Last question. No, you got to go. Uh, Tim Bradley has said that he'd like to move up to 154 even as far as 160. You as his coach, how do you feel about that? I don't agree. I don't agree. 147 is 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 where he where he belongs, and that's it. Not unless not unless an opportunity comes and say, hey, we're gonna fight. I mean, go call to 154. We'll definitely jump on that opportunity. But other than that, that's it. Hello, Canelo. You know what, Canelo or Canelo or Cotto, but like I said, you know, as far as business, of course, if the, if the opportunity is there, they say, oh, you're going to fight a Canelo or 154, we'll jump on the opportunity. Why? Because this is a business, okay? And uh, a Cotto as well, but we're going to move up to 54 just because now. Nah. Thank you, Joe. I really appreciate the interview. Good luck.